Yesterday, the members of county assembly prosecuted their case through their lawyers. Today, we expect the deputy governor, through his legal counsel, to argue out in terms of the grounds around impeachment when it comes to you know why exactly he was impeached were they frivolous grounds this is what the 11 member committee will be determining and later on uh, the floor of the house that's the senate in case they vote as a majority they will see through the impeachment process but that's in terms of what to expect let's start with the latest from Siaya County in terms of civil society organizations accusing the local county assembly of usurping the role of the executive, hence compromising its ability to oversight and ensure that the citizens get quality services from devolved government. Now, according to organizations, the dalliance between the assembly and the executive has seen the lawmaking organ get millions of shillings on development vote to undertake programs that should be done by the latter. Addressing a press conference in Siaya Town, the organizations through their umbrella body, Siaya County Civil Society Network, cited an example where the county assembly has been allocated 189 million shillings for development, far more than the Department of Tourism, Culture, Sports and Arts. The budget, which is 179 million. Recognizing the principles and values of good governance enshrined in our Article 10 of the Constitution as a prerequisite to provision of better services, appreciating the county government of Sierra has tried to take measures to promote good governance, people's participation, feedback and provide better services to the people of Sierra. We are also having issues with the public participation. Currently you are aware that there are public engagement uh, on a budget a financial year 2023, year 2024 where you realize that uh, the county assembly has planned a uh, two hours public engagement in each ward which i think is not really very right if you compare 